I started when I was 19. That was when I knew I wanted to do theatre. And so I took away all the safety nets and went with it. And I'm 38 this year. And I'm still at it. So, yay. I enjoyed it when I was young. I think it, it astounded me. But it really wasn't that that captured me. I think I felt that I was most comfortable dancing because perhaps I wasn't comfortable speaking. I was relatively shy. Uh, I have one of those faces where if I don't smile, you have the ice effect. So I think somehow with it, I just felt at ease. It was something I didn't have to speak. I just had to do how I felt. And um, it was a catalyst for many things when I was young. And then it became my therapy because I couldn't do without it. And then uh, now it, it is, it's led me to so many, many different places. I started in theatre very much as a hobby uh, because back in the <coughs> 19 uh, uh, if you tell anybody you want to uh, take up theatre as a career, they'll say you are nuts. Cheesy is the word I remember. Uh, but from there, um, the kind of interest developed and when the opportunity arose to actually made it, make it into a career, that's what I did. And since then, um, yeah, I suppose the rest is history. It took me so many years, almost as old as Esplanade for 10 years, starting off as um, operator, then grew up to ASMs and then stage managing. And then stage managing from school shows to uh, small little shows in shopping center and then goes into theater, stage managing for theater. And then uh, I think my and then touring shows as well. And last but not least was the countdown for the Marina Bay Singapore countdown. Yeah. So that's the history. <笑>我会走上这个做固定这样路呢只要以前在七十年代我自己本身也在搞剧场我们的剧场是新加坡实验剧场当时我主要搞的是华乐队了 <笑> Um, why did I join the Inkpot? Uh, <laughs> well, I guess I'm not a very good actor. I'm not a very good director, but I love theatre. So I thought I'd write about theatre. So I uh, started writing for the Inkpot and uh, eventually I got more and more involved because I really believe that it is important to have good arts writing in Singapore. Um, and, and it was a very exciting time because I think that was when theatre was really coming to its own in, in Singapore. And I wanted to be a part of that. It's, it's been great. Um, I think it's wonderful to be part of that whole growth because now you see a lot more arts writing in the industry and I think that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, I think there's a quote that says something like, um, you know, a critic can read the map even though he can't really drive the car. And I thought that's a really good way of seeing it. Yeah. So, you know, it's an opinion and we hope that the opinion helps to uh, engage with the artists and the audience as well. Yeah.